Today, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the refreshed main menu for The Sims 4. The first step is you're going to go to this website right here. You can go ahead and click the first link in the description, or you could go ahead and look up the website yourself. And then once we get here, you could see that the mod is locked, or we could go ahead and join for free to get the mod for free. So we're going to click join for free, and we're, you're going to get this pop-up right here. And then you could go ahead and continue with Google, continue with Apple, continue with Facebook, Facebook, or you could continue with your email. Once you create an account, you're going to get this pop up right here. You could go ahead and skip it because the mod is free on his Patreon. So you're going to go ahead and click the skip for now button. And then it's going to take you right here to recent posts. All we're going to do is we're going to press collections right here. And then we're going to press main menu overrides. And then here you're going to see all the refreshed main menus that you could go ahead and download. And for whatever one that you choose to download and install process will be the same. I'm going to go ahead and click this one right here because I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and open up the refresh main menu, the cherry blossoms one. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down until we see the attachments right here. Uh, we're going to click it to download it. You may not get this pop up right here, but if you do, it's just asking for you to save it to your recently download. So you're going to go ahead and press save. Once we have downloaded our refreshed main menu, we're going to go to our recently downloads right here. We're going to click it and then we're going to drag and drop it onto our desk top and then we're going to go ahead and open up our file explorer we're going to go to documents then we're going to go to electronic arts then we're going to go to the sims 4 and then we're going to go to our mods folder if for whatever reason you do not have a mods folder you could go ahead and right click anywhere here you're going to click new and then you're going to click folder and then you're going to make a folder called mods once we have a mods folder we're going to go ahead and open it up and then i'm going to go ahead and put my main menu refreshed file into my refreshed mods folder if you do not have a refreshed mods folder you could go ahead and just drag and drop it into your mods folder or you could go ahead and create a refreshed mods folder you could just right, right click anywhere here click new click folder and then you could just create a folder called refreshed mods if you have a refreshed mods folder we're going to go ahead and open it up and then we're just going to drag and drop it into our mods folder once we have dragged and dropped it into our refreshed mods folder or just the mods folder we could go ahead and close up our file explorer and test it out in our game as you can see when we load up our game we should be getting this mods pop up right here and then underneath custom content we have our refreshed main menu right here and once you see that your refreshed main menu is underneath custom content go ahead and press the check mark if for whatever reason you did not get that mods pop up go ahead and press these three dots right here go to game options go to other and make sure you have enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed checked marked then you're going to press apply changes and then you're going to click the x and then you're going to press exit game and then relaunch our game as you can see our main menu refresh cherry blossoms has downloaded successfully and it looks super pretty in our game and in my opinion it looks way better Better than the standard sims 4 main menu if this video has helped you out please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time